Okay, so this is the world of the Hunger Games auction. It basically scans all four movies. From the first Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Marking J1, Marking J2, we have pretty much all of the principal wardrobe, costumes, set pieces, vehicles, everything you could think of from the world of the Hunger Games. We have over 500 lots. Some of these lots have multiple items, you know, so it's a really diverse thing. One of the goals that Lionsgate wanted to make sure happened was there was something for every fan. We have set pieces, we have furniture, we have just anything you could possibly imagine. You know, if you want a piece of that franchise, it's here. You know, when you get into the costumes, it's, we really have, it's a wealth of uh, riches. I'm, I'm standing next to Katniss Everdeen. This is the girl on fire costume. This is when you first meet her, you know, Sinner dresses her and she wants to do something special. And this is the costume that she wore when she comes in on the chariot on fire. We even have the chariot. So if you can imagine the, the extent that we went to to make this auction special, you know, we have the costume that PETA proposes to her in. We have her hero costume from the last movie where she's doing all the popos and, you know, you know it, it's a beautiful black costume. Then we have her rugged combat gear, um, pretty much, you know, her hospital clothes. You know, we have every costume change that she wore in these films. You know, I would assume the Katniss items would go for the most. I mean, they're the most signature pieces. I would think the bows would lead the way, but you know, it could be one of her iconic costumes. Um, it could be the reaping ball. I mean, it really is hard to tell because one of the things that I could point out, and you know, I've done this for 30 years, and we've had the lost auction for ABC and Captain America, the first Avenger, so I've been around this for a while. There's never been an auction of this caliber where a franchise that I akin this to like the Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter has ever sold its uh, property. So this is a really you know, uncharted territory because we're selling pretty much oh, the swath of all the four films.